for a missing one-year-old has now been reunited with his parents after being gone for nearly four hours today. He was found with a caregiver the family knows, causing some neighbors to question why police were called. To news reporter Leah Williamson was there when the child was found. She's live with how this developing story unfolded. Mark Brook police say the man who returned the child, like you said, was a family friend and sometimes a caregiver. Earlier today, he was brought here to the police station for some questioning. He said he was shocked and confused by the scene over on Broadway, South Broadway. There was about 20 people or more, several officers, media, and he didn't really know what it was all about. Now, police say he was taken in for questioning, but has not been charged. Tears of relief and joy as Messiah Garrett was reunited with his family just before noon Thursday. A much different scene just hours earlier when Garrett's family reported him missing around 9.20 a.m. He had last been seen on surveillance footage getting into a car with a family friend just before 8. Best that I gathered right now, he was just a caregiver. He was a friend of the family. Neighbors in the Germantown Village apartment say they had seen the man with the child before. I mean, a couple times, taking a baby for a walk. But on this day, the man didn't return as soon as he said he would, and the family wasn't able to reach him. We're going to have to find out from him what happened again during that four hours to find out why he wasn't answering his phone, why he wasn't uh, communicating back and forth with the mother and the father. Around 11.45 a.m., the man called back. After coming back to the neighborhood, he was shocked by the scene of dozens of people and officers. The man immediately returned the child and was quickly removed by police for questioning. Neighbors say they were relieved but curious about the intense response. Someone that you know that's going to make sure they are right. They always been with, you know, left them with before and you know he's bringing them back. Dayton police say they were given reason to react with search teams and an Amber Alert. The intelligence that we got from the family based off the period of time that the child was missing, we had to listen to them, listen to what they had to tell us, uh, listen to the intelligence that they gave us in reference to what was going on, and we had to react and respond to that. Of course, everyone is very relieved and happy now that Messiah is back home. What the lieutenant did tell me, Child Protective Services will be following up just as a standard in cases like this. And again, no criminal charges are being filed right now against the man who was found with the child. Reporting live in Dayton, Aaliyah Williamson, 2 News, working for you. All right, Aaliyah, thank you.